ladies and gentlemen. We're watching Ashley play Hover Junkers. Welcome, Tondagasa. Jeez. All right. Hopefully uh, you guys can hear me. We got to kind of balance this out because Ashley is also hearing the game sounds through our speakers. So. Uh, we could. We could. Don't go for the junk. Just kill. Kill. Kill, killer, kill. You can, yeah, no. Yeah, stop jerking off. Yeah. Ash, uh, uh, when you're when you're off VR, you gotta uh, figure out the lavalier so we can mic the person playing VR. Uh, Refracto, this is a this is a public match. Yeah. Only one minute to go. You're trying to kill the. Uh, you're trying to kill the pilot. So this by far is the most complete game for Vive. There's usually at least like 20 to 40 people playing. Try and uh, uh, be able to commentate this. Yeah, here, wait, hold on. Here, no, leave it over there. God damn it, ow! What's up? Hey, the Gen Plays. Welcome, welcome. It's your last two. So I don't know if you guys can hear uh, Ash on TeamSpeak. Mike, bam, that works real well. All right, you're, <laughs> you're right in front of her thing. Oh, wait, no, she's playing. She's playing here. Uh, on commentary right now, joining me is John Teasdale. John, happy to be you, here. What do you expect from this match? I expect a lot, expect a lot of spastic motions and, uh, and some hovering and some junking. I've seen one game played so far. Which now makes you an expert in the world of Hover Junkers. Congratulations! The most experienced casting team in the history of Hover Junkers joining you. A, a, a legacy of excellence. Indeed. So from what I understand, she is actually able to move her Hover Junker around. She certainly is. And, uh, and hide behind parts of it. Now, what, what, uh, now Ashley uh, shooting her revolver like she's Tupac. Uh, sideways. Definitely, there is no enemy on this screen. She is just aiming, spraying, and praying. 
Yeah, for almost no reason, by the way. Uh, the the point of that weapon is to aim and fire, and yet she's spraying it around. She like cert she has certainly mastered the second half. Let's uh, see how she does with the first. <laughs> she apparently needs more shields. Yes, that ladies is, and gentlemen, uh, this is esports. That is hashtag esports. Boom. All right, so Justin, what happens if you just ram your junker straight into the other junker? Uh, then your junker stops moving. And clear, literally nothing else. Clear and concise. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what we have here yeah, is just, a just Just Fiat says, grab your Glock if you see Tupac. Call the cops if you see Tupac. Who shot you? Not healthy addict, I can tell you that. <laughs> healthy addict right now exchanging fire with someone who appears to be. Although that's, the that is a shot and a kill for healthy addict. And she celebrates and she by getting shot right in the face and dying. <laughs> the I do believe there is one person on there who is the VR equivalent of AFK. Uh, <laughs> we'll come up with a new acronym for you shortly, but it's definitely this guy. So, uh, Healthy Addict. Healthy Addict now shooting the trash in her own this. ship. Uh, it is not a contest to see who can have the biggest junker. It's not the size of the junker that matters, it's how you kneel down and shoot without looking at the opponent. <laughs> oh, we've got a high speed <laughs> junk <laughs> fucked up. High speed junker <laughs> pursuit chase. <laughs> Hell the attic getting distracted by two knuckleheads on microphones. Always uh <laughs> that is definitely not something you want to do. Oh the old three-way shoot em up. That's a three-person shoot -em up challenge. Yeah, this is a real right gang here. fuck, people. Put down a tarp and call your mom. Oh. Uh oh, it seems like Ashley's taking some fire from the rear. You know, she certainly was doing a lot better before we started talking. Exactly. Why can't she move? That is that is the question we've all been asking. That's the question that this webcam is asking as it uh, tries to focus on you. <laughs> A question asked by many women around the globe. That's sexist and weird. And I apologize. Coming back to our new segment, <laughs> What's in My Face? Justin? Uh, Narakami94 says, is this what the future looks like? Yes. Hopefully in higher definition. Poorly played hover junkers will be the new number one eSport. Mark it down. I live alone and I play hover junkers poorly. <laughs> Zero loots. By the way, what the fuck is this? A Roman court? We don't need no loots. It's an instrument joke. All right, there's two uh, junkers hovering. Yeah. Should uh, we've gotten off six or seven free complete clips at this point. Exactly. Right now, a real uh, firefight between Healthy Addict and Vanquish. Healthy Addict trying to put one in his temple. Uh, moving into an advantageous position, and she right. caps him! Or does she? Oh, yes, she does. And there's the kaboom, like Clay Thompson from three-point range, except far less good. All right, we've got the rolling endless landscape. Here we go, another junker. Uh oh, this one doesn't uh, seem to know what the hell's going on. Oh, it's another, oh facing uh, the wrong way. This is, a, this is a real kill opportunity. A real. Look at the load up. Would, well, don't even duck down on that one. Oh no! One. Why would you duck down? This reload, reload. 
Hey! That is a murder! You can hear the Someone studio got audience murdered going tonight. crazy right now. And Healthy Addict is the murderer. Healthy Addict in the desert with the revolver. Oh! I hate to see that happen to anyone, really. Death uh, is spinal. Especially depressing. someone that I'm related to by marriage. Healthy addict who has not been mic'd up yet and therefore can't talk back. But trust me, she thinks that my commentating's great. Healthy addict having a hard time uh, snapping into a Slim Jim here. Uh-oh. Big standoff. So uh, I've heard wield the two guns at once. You certainly can. You do give up the mobility, but you can go to two guns. Actually, by the way, now uh, uh, relying on the revolver, which by far is the most effective weapon, but she does still have an Uzi and a shotgun at her disposal, as well as the hilariously worthless flare gun. So I'm, I have noticed in uh, that, that games tend to make pistols just way too overpowered uh, coming into it. I remember Halo did that. Uh, in fact, there was no reason to use any other weapon. Yeah. Ten seconds. Well, you want to reward uh, aiming, right? Five, four, three, that is, <laughs> two. That that's is probably the, the biggest idea. reason why they do that. <laughs> aiming. Here, wait, let me do that as a more as a, a Norm McDonald punchline. Yeah, that's why they do it. Aiming. <laughs> nice to have you. All right, All right. Who is up next? By the way, that is uh, Justin Roiland as the robot voice. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Ash, you going to play another game or are you tagging out? I'll give it a shot. All right. John now stepping in. Tanagasa points out she didn't even have to use her AK. Today was indeed a good day. Uh, what are you looking to do? Get out. Oh, 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 go to the exit. Look at the exit yeah, sign. Out uh, by the door, yeah, right there. Yeah, John, uh, let's have John go to the, uh, go to the, uh, what's it called? Go to the shooting range. Joining me now in the booth is Brett, the Amtrak Aroundsville. Brett, welcome to the booth. Looking good, feeling good. How's life out there? God damn it, I should ask you to get me a beer. Is it too late to have you get me a beer? Wait, you already drank half that beer. I did. I did drink <laughs> half that beer. All right, so wait, look at the signs and go to shooting range, or target practice, rather. It's right under enter. Okay, now uh, the button above the, uh, the, the rolling dial, the button above it, uh, will bring up all the guns. Yeah, there we go. So just grab one of the guns on the grid. Put your butt above it. Your butt above it. There we go. Right? No. You have to probably let it go. There we go. No, that's the way that you murder yourself. We call that one the Cobain. Hello! Murdered himself with a shotgun in his bathtub. This inning brought to you by Come and Go. Grab your coffee as well as jokes about grunge suicides at Come and Go. Uh, all right, so here, grab the pistol, uh, and then you'll see a little button right there, that red button uh, to your left. Yeah, if you, uh, no, you have to switch to your uh, hand. Uh, and hit the, because uh, you'll be able to do uh, moving targets. Just shoot the red button. So you, uh, you, you, uh, well here, to reload, you, uh, you uh, hit the rolling dial and then roll your finger left to right, and that will load all your bullets back. 
just one motion, like, no, no, no. Boom, you got it. Now switch uh, on your left hand, switch to the hand thing. Yep, and then hit that button and you'll see a, uh, a big balloon fly by. So wait, you have to do it again. No, just keep it to one gun because you're going to want to practice with one gun. All right, this time when the balloon comes by, try to shoot it. Yeah, you, what you want to do is shoot it. Shoot. Okay, a failure All to right. shoot it. All right. Uh, That's fine. That's cool. You probably didn't understand. It's a really uh, good it's job. It's really simple. Shoot Just, it, uh, though, this time. Hey! Shoot the balloon. Oh. There it is. Shooting the Just, balloon. Oh. Not, not bad. Not bad. Hey! That actually blew up right next to you. Hey, look at this. It's a crack shot, ladies and gentlemen. Oddly enough, we also have a crack shot as John is facing away from the camera right now. <laughs> Look at this. Old Johnny Short Shot. Old Crack Shot Teasdale. Showing us his crack. Better a crack shot than a crack head. Daryl Strawberry reference. <laughs> Deep cut. Deep cuts tonight. <laughs> Loving the 80s baseball references <laughs> out here. Two and one, the count. <laughs> <laughs> Two and one, the count. We got a man on second. Daryl Strawberry's a crackhead. Kymara, <laughs> <laughs> you uh, mean you have to use your hands? It's like a baby's toy. <laughs> That, of course, a reference from Weird Science. Uh, so, uh, all right, John, you're good. Congratulations, you're good. Stop fucking around and start playing the game. Get the hell out of here. Enter at your own risk. Just go ahead and point at, no, not exit. Exit would be the opposite of enter. Hey, welcome to my bar. I'm <coughs> Oh, didn't didn't catch his name there. All right. So uh, what you do now is look up at the. Uh, hey, are here, John? First, look at that, right? Uh, and you're gonna want to select the oh, most advantageous cool junker. My favorite part of this entire scene is watching Justin point at things John could never possibly see and say, <laughs> "Look at that!" No, John, look at that. Please, uh, it's an actual <laughs> fact. <laughs> Shit, we gotta set up. Let's set up the DSLR so we can we can go to the uh, studio shot. <laughs> that would be good. There are lots of ships out there. You sure that's the one you want? Oh shit, they should be. Uh. You sure that's the one you want? There's a lot of other ones to look at. Twitch alerts, Twitch alerts. You're braver than I thought. Yeah, it should hey, be listen, there. I, I gotta ask you a favor. Can you pick me up and just throw me? That's right. Oh, you wanna know what? Oh no, it should be ahead of it. Let's uh, try and test our Twitch alerts. Switch alert. All right, John, what's your uh, what's your post-apocalyptic gladiator name going to be going into this round? No, no, you get to choose. What is it? Oh. Well, pretty disappointing post-apocalyptic uh, carnage this name. This robot dude across the street. Uh. He, just, he just walked. Rainbow sunshine striking fear in the hearts of man. I think I would have gone with something like uh, something manly or like unicorn glitter farts. Yeah. Okay. Let's test. Yeah. So now you guys can follow. Oh, right up there. So what you want to do is, no, on, on the pink screen? Right up there. 
Right there. Uh, John, go, right there. Go to Panda. John, Panda, look yeah. at the thing we're Panda. pointing at. John. I'm not God damn it, John. John, right there. John, much taller than Ashley, making the webcam a bit of a trick. There we go. What's that got yeah, to do? Yeah, all right. So, yeah, look. Do with it. All right. So, so down right under the clock is where you stick that gun, and that's how you can drive. Stick it. No, 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 in your ear, Dan. Don't stick. Oh, come on. That was a Mark and Brian joke. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to the deepest cuts. <laughs> We're going to find out how deep these cuts go. <laughs> very, very deep. Mark and Brian. We started Jesus. at 80s baseball and have only gotten worse. There's a brilliant skit that they used to do with uh, Dan Quayle. Oh, and my they're, fucking and they're, God. And they're putting, no, it's brilliant. They, they're trying to tell Dan Quayle how to do this speech and so they want him to uh, put this little earbud in his ear so that they can tell him what he should say and uh, and one of the first lines of the skit is stick it yeah. no 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 in your ear Dan look uh, look in the middle of the q-tips yeah right by in the, the way, middle of the q-tips uh, John making very, very exaggerated stances, uh, which are not advantageous to our tiny <laughs> set. Hey, look at that. He's a goddamn killer, ladies and gentlemen. His name is John Teasdale, and he is not to be fucked with. I'm he thinking. is king shit of fuck mountain. Why would you want... To fuck with him. Old Rainbow Sunshine. Mr. Going. Show reference. <laughs> oh, deep cuts. Swear to God, look it up on YouTube. Old Mr. Rainbow Sunshine going straight into Junker called Peter Griffin. Oh, John definitely avoiding a bit of a rat fuck there. But he gets capped on the back end like he was fresh off the bus in L.A. Frozen Tundra trying to fuck around with the shotgun as if that's going to do anything. Chimera96 wants to ask, is that a shadow or is John working on a porno stash? <laughs> Uh, the only answer to that is that he's uh, working that oh, oh. professional coder schedule of how often he shaves. Capped after getting himself caught in an old Latin American standoff. <laughs> it's the kind where they shoot anyway. Gentleman Tavat says, how fun is this game? Uh, 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 all, all joking aside, this game is super fun. It's easily my favorite vibe. Old Mr. Rainbow Sunshine himself heading directly towards the upward shooting frozen sperm. John from way downtown. <laughs> this is not a sniper rifle. They do, however, reward aiming. <laughs> more, more McDonald. <laughs> Hey, Narakami94, thank you for the follow. Welcome to eSports. Here, I can, I can norm this up. Uh, hey, uh, maybe you should try uh, aiming. <laughs> Asshole clan, hello, says Babcat. Look towards the glowing Q-tips. We got one minute to go. Eureka Geek says so many things could be said about John's head bobbing up. You know, like uh, he's trying to uh, grab apples from a tub while they float. He's uh, in the middle of a CrossFit session. He's doing push-ups, uh, elevated plank. He's uh, 
rehabbing a surgical operation on his knee. He's fallen slowly from a great height onto a trampoline. He's become a frogman that now relies on his leaping ability to rob banks. He's blowing Justin. <laughs> Ten seconds. Did I play the game wrong? Five, four, three, Welcome to eSports, two. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, uh, you shouldn't fire at that guy. It says stop on the side of his thing. And that is John's first game of Hover Junkers. Hey, welcome to my ball. Let's oh. see how he did. Ow. Hey. Quit it. Stop it. Yeah. Yes? Huh? Hello? Hello. Just go ahead and tell him to stop kissing me. Stop kissing me right on my kissable mouth. Say again. Uh oh. Oh shit! Game starting. Brett now stepping in. John Teasdale uh, uh, tagging out. A, a very, very uh, a viable performance by John Teasdale. Joining me in the booth now is my wife. Hello. Healthy Attic. That's a reference to Borat, the 2000s film. I haven't seen starring that. Starring Sasha Baron Cohen. So do we think uh, that Brett is going to learn how to play this game in... <laughs> Before he dies? Uh, no, he's probably gonna die. Why are you doing that, Brett? That's literally useless. There you now go. Now you're driving. Do you have a gun in the other hand? That'd be useful. No, you're gonna want to touch the button. Touch the button above. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Brett no. shaving the whole. <laughs> no, that's that's gross. Yeah, you can put up, he's putting up his walls now in hopes that he won't get shot as quickly. Look at that. Yeah. That's actually the biggest uh, uh, strategy element of the game, is like figuring out what your junker is and then how to arrange whatever you get in your box. Oh, well, the goddamn professional now starting the game, still unable to figure out how to get a viable weapon in his hand. He is certainly able to give a lot of thumbs up. He's going to encourage the enemies into just giving up because he thinks they're a real cool guy. Thumbs up. Brett shot once. <laughs> So you want no, you want to hit the button above the rolling trackpad. There we go, and then let go of it. Yeah, Brett now equipping the shotgun, uh, and now equips uh, the one thing he uses to drive, and now the flare gun. A useless performance by Brett Roundsville so far, as he shot dead. Thumbs up skills from Fitz Chib. Doing some really solid esports here on the Jury Stone channel. Brett is now learning how to reload his rifle. He's flailing, flailing. He can't even snap the wrist. There we go, there we go, Brett Roundsville. Caught in the crossfire. Will he duck? shot dead in his mouth. He's shooting at some pieces of metal. Brett uh, now talking shit like he's not the worst player in the game. 
We're gonna try and mic him for audio here. Like Jesus, he is risen once more from the dead. <laughs> Religious take from Brett Roundsville. <laughs> That'll certainly be a conversation on first take on Monday. Infamous Nexus wants to know what the fuck is Brett doing? <laughs> While RG Manifesto points out correctly, Jesus was a better shot. Yes. <laughs> Any comments from the peanut gallery? I just, I don't know how Jesus showed up in all of this. <laughs> Sounds like his engine is running out of gas. Which is odd because there's no gas in this game. <laughs> Brett Roundsville now cruising around the swamp as if he's giving a tour to fifth graders in the Everglades. Cruising around what uh, can only be described as a Nightmare. Cyan suggests that Brett might be able to just let Jesus take the wheel. Could he possibly be dead? Oh. Any very much hoping that uh, Brett would be able to pop out of the corner and catch him by surprise, as it turns out the only surprise was his swift death. Refractal Studios wants to know, so real talk, how much more toned are your thighs going to be after playing VR games for a couple months? Ashley Paramore, you played VR games for a couple weeks. How toned are your thighs? I don't know. I haven't had my hands on them. Back to you, jury. <laughs> I can say from personal experience, quite nice. That's your creepy comment of the game from Hardy's. You're creepy as fuck, and so can you. T20 getting killed by Brett, which might be the most embarrassing thing that happens to him in his life. Uh, Fitzshift 29 pointing out that Jesus only died once. So suck it, Brett. <laughs> <I'd> Jesus. <like> <laughs> Jesus would be the answer to that. I'd like to introduce our, our new guest host uh, of the evening, John Teasdale. John Teasdale, uh, what, how are you feeling about Brett and his games? Uh, which game? Ten seconds. Making a moment while Ashley uh, scooches out of the five, hosting chair. Four, Counting three, down back from two, five, I do believe one. next in the hot seat is our very own Justin Robert Young. All right. Though I'm, uh, though I'm not sure how long he can survive this far away from a microphone. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm gonna be uh, hopping into the VR chair. I'll see you later on the other side. Well, you're a rough customer, you know. <laughs> God damn it, ow! 
All right. Yes, indeed. We are back and ready. Justin, one of the two people in the apartment who has played the game before, expecting big things from this e fleet. And I'd like to welcome you all back to the Good Enough Podcast. I'm Ashley. That's right. This week in news, Donald Trump says something ridiculous and also probably some terrible things for women. Justin Young says an odd thing about my thighs. That was a nice thing. I mean, it was, it was a pretty nice thing. I mean, it wasn't glowing, but it was close enough. Are you uh, Justin swearing at the competition uh, before the game even starts? Justin has not been able to change his hover junker. Yeah. Express disappointment about that. And jury steps up like Jesus says, Fitz. I can't see it from here. Ah! So, what are we going to see your VR stream from? Oh, is, is Scott's in here, Justin? Oh, good. Scott Johnson. Scott Johnson enters the room. Uh, to quote Justin Robert Young, he says, Get some beach. Beach is exactly what he said because he is an upstanding. Of uh, the cleanly mouth citizen. Upstanding, standing up, lots of loading. Justin looking like the whitest avatar creature you've ever seen. <laughs> he's uh, he's setting up his armor. Configuring. Hopefully he doesn't get shot immediately in the mouth like myself, John, or Brett. It's true. It is painful. That's what they don't tell you about virtual reality. It hurts more in the pride. All right, so Justin on the hunt. Does he see his first target right there up ahead? He I sneaky? would say he definitely does. All they right, are currently they are Justin missing a stationary target six times while having the drop on him. Certainly getting off to no better oh, there's start not one, but than two. any of the previous competitors. So we've got we've got a three-way competition going right here. I am fairly certain that they did not build in the ability to shoot yourself. However, if they did, Justin would have already found the way. Alright. We had a four-way for a second, but one of them um, popped out of there early. And oh. down and it to two. Justin so far has made his mark by not shooting anyone and just searching around the sideline. This is the first time I think I've seen Justin dance uh, in, in my life. Certainly. Looks tough. Looks tough on the knees. All right. And Justin takes it in the mouth. All right. Coming up to life number two. Uh, now, John, do you think he's going to be doing any better this round? Or how do you foresee this I right don't now? know. I mean... He is doing so poorly that the chat is, the chat is incorrectly believing that Justin is wearing a run, One Direction shirt. Simply from the fact that the only direction he's heading is towards the last place <laughs> on the scoreboard. <laughs> so this is the game that, uh, that Justin Robert Young has touted as his favorite. There we go. Gets off a kill. Lucky shot. Lucky shot. Getting a reload. Looks like we got a. We're interrupting a tailgate party over here. Justin drifting between two other junkers. Now, just and quickly his demise. Junk. Well, that's a fortuitous spawn if you can make the most of it. His, uh, Brett has recommended, Brett the answer to Brownsville is recommending the thumbs up as the offensive strategy. It worked quite so well for Brett in the last round. Certainly Justin is doing better than that. It's been suggested that he might want to try to hold the gun sideways like Jesus. Uh, yes, this is PvP. This is a PvP contest. I 
almost wish we could take callers, but our phone lines are down. Phone lines are down. Justin is currently, I, I, I now believe I have a very accurate, I have a very accurate uh, image of what Justin looks like while trying to chase the birds at 1 a.m. Uh, when they been unable to. He claims that the birds are asleep, but he does not put them to sleep. Just bad bird missing four straight shots to the back. Justin, after giving his loving wife shit about being able to shoot with the revolver, not doing too good a job himself right now. I tell you what, being pointed at in the in the booth right now, Justin is a fierce. He holds those controllers in a very fierce manner. If only the other players could see his face, they surely would be into this. check the store, I am just going to say that Justin has a certain amount of points. And all of the other players have some other number of points. So Justin has four kills, while the leader has nine, but he is also being killed four times. Justin verbally abusing his wife Absolute. from the stage. Verbal abuse when virtual abuse is not enough. It's the kill. It is it is quite difficult to be stealthy in a large hunk of flying garbage. Justin sneaking up, not so quickly. Getting shot in the mouth. Will he get will he nail this guy in the face? Justin's certainly going for that face shot. Looking for the money Sometimes shot. Sometimes you gotta be real patient before that presents itself. Ooh. Score is now 10 to 5. Justin, half the score of the leader. Justin coming in fourth place, looking for a kill to nudge him back up to the pole position. Uh, there is no record of that, Justin. All we have is your <laughs> Certainly the most verbally aggressive uh, player of the game so far. Aggressive towards the judges. Well, we're judging you, so. <laughs> Justin's back on the chase. Stuck once again. You never be one of you never want to be exposed between two very aggressive jumpers. Justin's dual wielding option and miserable failure. And thank you, Cyan, for that host. Justin's gonna need it. As, uh, as he, if we were in the last 30 seconds of the game. As he aimlessly shoots in hopes that a bullet will ricochet into somebody's face. Yeah, these, 10 seconds. Uh, Five, four, three, Here we two. go. And having the drop with a shotgun. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? No. Hey, welcome to my bar. I made this place myself. Please help keep it clean. Well, that was a game. Uh, Justin, how are you feeling? He's feeling like he's gonna <laughs> hit that shot, Kobe. Uh, but apparently, oh, he got. All right. Taking his victories where he can get them. Justin Robert Young manages to keep his spirits high at By the throwing. bottom <laughs> of the score. As he's throwing bottles of ketchup and mustard into the sky. Oh, you're, you're, you're rough. Something tells me that. I said stop it. Well, you're a rough customer, you know. Uh, 
Uh, who's up next? Oh, tell me, that's probably gonna happen again. Yes. <clears throat> Do you want to pop back in there, Ash? Only one, only one place. We were, Justin, uh, we being too butt busy hurt about it. not changing, getting the opportunity to change his junker. That's what he said, folks. Dual thank, Wolf, now th following. Thank, thank you for, you thank you for, for that follow. and welcome. Uh, right now we are watching Justin R. Young uh, trying to hover junk. And he's crouching. Oh, takes he, the hit, takes it the first. He just takes that one solidly straight to the face. He may fire a bullet. Oh, we're, that is yet to be seen. The suspense is overwhelming. Decides to pull out instead of uh, pressing forward. Definitely. And will he take the shot? Ooh, or he certainly he did. did. <laughs> it's all right, going back into it with a full round of ammunition. That's always comforting. Now the question is, Here we is go. Will, will he be able to unload it on this bunker? Ooh! Taking two hits, having delivered one. He's now it's laying on the floor. Certainly in the position, slight disadvantage is position. The other junker definitely has a much better setup. Also holding two guns, letting just oh another junker. You can tell by that sad steel string guitar music that Justin. It's doing poorly. <laughs> Justin blaming the junker. Uh, they are junk, Justin. They are all in terrible condition. Justin sneaking up on the junker. Justin just pulling in from behind. Unable to make any meaningful impact. Will Justin uh, probe this junker, or will he lie down and take it like a bitch? Ooh, Ooh right there we the go. Mouth, we Justin. had a vindication. Oh, it was, it was not the person who he shot that died. It was somebody else. Zero kills. Justin is now troll casting himself. Wild play. And I can see why. If you look closely, you'll see that none of the bullets he's firing are hitting the people that he's aiming at. It's maybe the most amount of physical activity Justin has engaged in in some time. You're not fat, Justin. You are out of shape. Justin about to ram into the other junker and shoot him in their mouth, hopefully. Uh, Refractal Studio says Justin's pacifist run is going well. Uh, yes, indeed. I do believe there is a badge for that. Is there? No, I was wrong. There is no badge for that. Justin will be glad to learn that his video game skills do not uh, impact on his marriage and being able to stay married. Because if they did, he'd be fucked. Justin. His first kill of the game, Justin R. Young Justin celebrating. Young manages to take out. Justin fires the most useless weapon in the game. And, oh. and he kills oh, another. Justin R. Street. Young, is, does he have his youth back? Well, he certainly, all it, all it took was laying out one dead fish. Now it appears that his confidence is back up and he can go after the big, the big sharks. In the <laughs> Justin Young using the jaunty jerk to reload did not pan out very well for him. The jaunty jerk, of course, uh, trademarked by me.
Justin coming up from behind. And he has indeed heard that before. Oh, mama. Justin playing caution to the wind. Uh, they Here's to a bit killed of each other double at kill. The same double murders. Or, uh, Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. Somebody else. Control the height of the hover. The height? The height. Can you, can you hover higher? No. You go up on a hill and you point down and you shoot him in the back of the skull, like so. Like just in the center. Right Ooh. there, minus the shooting in the skull part. Ah, you can see that while Justin was up on the hill shooting, he's trying to shoot someone in the skull. Someone was indeed. <laughs> Justin getting mad about not cuddling after being fucked in the ass, uh, direct quote. We really need a mic for this one, folks. He is getting ragey. Our good friend, Justin's target. Uh, you can definitely see the amount of skill that goes on to killing this one man who is not and, improving. And he killed, he killed the unattended hoverer junker. How, how do you go AFK from a virtual reality game? You die. That's true. Justin shooting an actual dead person. Well, he did die standing up. That is Ooh. Uh, One minute to go. Wog. Also giving you the die bitch. I I'm <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> yeah, indeed it was. That was a uh, no wob talk in the game. Uh, what is nice about cover jumping is you can actually communicate with other people in the game and let them know that they are live on the internet. So if the person doing the shooting would like to put a cap in their ass and let them know they can watch the VOD at Jury Stone on Twitch, they can go back and watch. And there is time. Healthy Attic manages to take second place. place. Justin just shooting into space now for no reason. I hope you spent some time in the shooting range. You're All right, who practice. is up? If it's coming back around, Ashley, I believe you are. You are the next oh, oh, one. Justin wiping hate me thick layers me. of sweat out was, of his face. That was a great round by Justin. Uh, one of his favorite games, Hover Junkers. Judging by his play, we can guess some of his other favorite things. Uh, not gaming. Coming in second to last in things. Driving around aimlessly. I've ridden, I've ridden in the car with Justin before. Being that last one is accurate. I'm going to ask you to simmer down. By judging from by our talking into it, just judging from our performance, no one here is capable of hurting anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, can the other players hear us talking the entire time? No, oh, I see. All right, Ashley now realizing that she also has junk um, with which to hover.
right. If you're on Twitter, go ahead and uh, tell at Amtrekker, A-M-T-R-E-K-K-E-R, that he's an asshole. Uh, a goodbye, a farewell to you, Brett Rounceville. Uh... Healthy Attic getting off to a very boring start in one of her favorite parts of the game. Where is anybody? Well, there's one. That is a murder. Game of Thrones fans will be very pleased by tonight's program. Oh, here we go. Our professional bookkeeper, uh, Mitzula, says that the Warriors have opened up as an eight point favorites on Monday night. Woogoose posted it on Twitter. Thank you so much. You are truly God's own child. Right, actually has the drop on the wog. The wog, of course, just in Genesis. But she gets crept up on, and now she's trapped in a junk sandwich. Another death for Ashley Barrymore and what's becoming a troubling trend. Trolling is surrounded by junk. Junk on all sides. Junk as far as the eyes can see. Let's see if we can cheer her up. Here we go. From a bike again. Living in the then making crack. I love killing, thieving, and extortion. Give me 20 bucks, I'll give you an abortion. I love cocaine. And selling it to kids. I charge 50 for an ounce. Dad used to fuck me rippity D. My name's Snake. I'm from a rival gang. So give me the drugs or I'll go bang. I'm a real rough bloke. I'll murder your wife. So give me the drugs or you'll be in strife. Oh no! He's got the drop on me. But lucky I got a trick up my sleeve. Bang! Biggity bang! A big bang bang! Biggity bang! Hey! Bang. There's a murder for Ashley! Oh no! It looks like... What happened? Or your drugs will stop. If you, oh, you gangsters are such big ruffies, I'm gonna put you in. Uh oh, oh no, it's the boys. In oh no, we lost the headset. <laughs> Bikey Wars was too powerful, and Ashley accidentally unplugged the Vive. Serious esports happening here on the Serious Esports channel at Jurystone or twitch.tv slash. Serious Stone, Serious Esports here. Sorry, guys. We were having a very serious time, and then all of a sudden, oh my good God, and unplugging. This is a great time to remind you that Hardee's is your number one place for a creepy look from somebody who doesn't want to be at their job. Head into your local Hardee's and say, hey, mister, I bet you you're not fulfilled spiritually, and they'll tell you okay. And also, here's a burger. Hardies, eat. We stuff. hate ourselves as much as you do. <laughs> We've got to restart the VR here. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wait, no, we're back. We might need to restart Hover Junkers. Okay. All right, restarting the whole headset. Ashley, I'm thrilled with what's happening. Uh, Jackie Hearn uh, loves your hair. Your hair looks amazing. And that was right when you started. Uh, you just got on a streak, too. One. I know, right? We do know, right? We do. <laughs> Fit Shift 29. Hardee's, your Frisco melt tastes like an empty life. Uh, okay. Quitting again. Okay, you should quit all of it and then restart all. Quit Vive. Restarting Zivive. 
By the way, with respect to Hardee's, or no respect to them. Yeah. Uh, respect to Arby's. Their new ad campaign. I don't know exactly how new it is, but I love that guy. No, you love Arby's. Yeah, Arby's. Not Hardee's. I did say Arby's. Oh, okay. No respect to Hardee's. Fuck Hardee's. Fuck Hardee's. Listen, if there's Arby's. two things that we know, it's fuck Hardee's and yay, yay Arby's. Arby's. Yeah. We should All right, get that hold on, on wait a, a T-shirt. Right next. It's to connecting, you. connecting. We connecting. have the meats. Boom, 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 boom. Just gets me every time. I'm like, ugh. Arby's I wish is I tasty. had the meats. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not connecting to the headset. Oh, wait, hold on. I could reboot headset. Yeah. Starting Steam VR shutdown. Okay. I mean, what would you do with the meats, Justin? Uh, I'd, uh, I'd say we have them. Hooray. Oh, look at this. Hands inappropriately grabbing uh, our player here. Oh, my. Is that Ving Rhames? Maybe. Hardee's is the lesser Carl's Jr. They're literally the same restaurant. Uh, okay, so the headset apparently is not connecting. Sure, yeah. Tech support, Paramore. Coming in hot. Here, can you stand actually? Can you stand here? Yeah. And you can tell me when a light is coming. Ooh, you, you don't have to put it on. Oh, but I want. You want to talk? Oh, no. We've got our, uh, it's like, yeah, our healthy addict stunt double. It's the only other blonde we have in the room, so. Or currently, who, who's, whose face is about to be absorbing all that is left. Of a Justin sweat. <laughs> she looks right very there on unhappy. That face. But this is why she makes no money. <laughs> to be the stunt double. Is there any light coming through yet? I see a little bit of light from here. Is there light on? No, ma'am. Moist is the word. Hold on. What about now? This may be a situation where we have to reboot the computer. No. Let me close out uh, I remember that. everything. I remember how you used to have to do that. <laughs> Virtual reality, taking you back to the 90s. <laughs> all right, we're closing out of all our VR. Let's remember this is all Ashley's fault. This is not all my fault. If only my Why loving husband... Why would you husband just deny that out of the blue, Ashley? <laughs> that, uh, that certainly seems suspicious. Well, if only I had a loving husband that would have ensured that I did not trip over any cords and or strangle myself with them, maybe we wouldn't have had this problem. If only. If only. <laughs> Ashley currently blaming the fact that she basically almost strangled herself with the cord. On Justin, who was sitting a full five feet away. <laughs> that just doesn't add up. Nope. Um, turn, turn, the, turn the, the handles on while she's oh, yeah. seeing if this turns on at all. The wife may always blame jury, but that is because it is true. A lot of blame going around here. All I can say with confidence is that it was not me. Just I know I'm not the werewolf. <laughs> Just looking disgusted Just. over the uh, sweat-soaked yeah. face band. Yeah, it's like the disease of the bird. Like the <laughs> She's likening it to a hooker. disease hooker. Why you be the gangbang hooker? That's check if it's actually powered in at all past the yellow box. I just think that one of you gave her something. Uh, all right. Uh, see, make sure all that's plugged in tight. And make sure it's all plugged into the power and oh. the power strip. No. Assigning, uh, assigning a gender. I did, I did no gender. Oh, I did say you definitely did. It was affectionate. The, a gender to right, the guys. alien-esque octopus contraption that sucks onto your face. We may have fixed it. I'm going to be rebooting the headset, and uh, we may need to close, restart our VR one more time, but we are about ready, friends, I think, to put me back in the cockpit <laughs> of the Hover Junkers. It's back. Do you see light? No. 
That was not the answer we were looking for. Try again. Now do you see light? Do you see the light? And, and by that we mean any light at all. <laughs> Joining me back on the mic, Justin Robert Young, keeping it tight. Settle down, you Hey, this is fun, you guys. I'm this having a great a, time. Hey, you guys, this is really fun. This is a fun time. All right, don't have an actual moment and then turn it We're into something dumb. We're having an actual moment. All right. Uh, 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 Chuchus89, best stream ever. Blurry Ashley wandering around a post-apocalyptic landscape. Fortunately frozen. Okay, here we go. Now we are restarted. We are back going live here. Uh, Tom Nagasa and Jackie Hearn already making their plans to come be part of the next VR party. Wait, hold on. Audio is definitely not coming in, though. Oh, wait. Now. And that's we're it. back. All right, and we're back. And shoot, 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 put a bullet in your head. Bing, bam, boom, and he's effing dead. Well, hello there. I'm just a passerby, and I just... Bang! No, you don't get it. Not until you be good at the game. Withholding... What's that called? Affection? <laughs> yeah, but also, uh... But also this. I nice shot, asshole. <laughs> Ashley currently well, Ashley trying, to trying to shoot with her steering steer wheel. Steer the opponent into oblivion. Stuck with the shotgun for now. Let's see how. Uh, oh, and that's ooh, a that's death a, for Ashley. No one is ever ready for so death. much salt for Ashley Paramore. A defining characteristic for her. <laughs> Ashley Paramore now cursing. Must be a Saturday. Because that's mature. You can tell by the clock on the dashboard that there is six minutes left in this bout. So they're currently trying to get the drop on uh, some dude. And uh, not checking behind her. That's where it always comes from. The old behind you position. Uh, Isn't that right, Justin? Nurakami94, I just realized this is happening a few miles near me. Uh, well, uh, it's technically happening in virtual space, which is a few miles from everyone. Welcome back to the broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. Ashley Paramore in the space docking area, now trying to find someone to kill. Hopefully, uh, hopefully someone just sort of standing around. If Midzula is here, we're going to go ahead and ask him to uh, give us an over and under uh, each time that somebody steps in. Hey, that's a kill for Ashley Paramore. Hip, hip, hooray. Somebody's yelling, probably because they know they were killed by Ashley Paramore. What an embarrassing moment for them and their entire family. Something so shameful. You know, it seems so natural watching it on the screen, but uh, looking over, looking over at Ashley currently trying to uncoil herself from the wires on the floor, <laughs> uh, it is definitely going to be interesting to see live streaming take off more on the internet. Exactly. Folks, we're bringing you the uh, most serious VR esports what we pride ourselves on we have trained for literally minutes <laughs> for this for this event i have found this and all talent for this particular program at the bottom of this pbr 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 for all the moments <laughs> pbr my wife bought it as a joke and i'm literally drinking all of it
I think we might actually want to uh, switch games after this. Why is that? Just play something else. Space uh, pirate training? Yeah, we can go to space pirate. Space pirates! Do we have a uh, a mini miniature mop to uh, <laughs> to clean off? No, there's a there's another like uh, fuzz thing. Oh, there's another fa face fuzz thing. Yeah. So we have the Justin face fuzz thing and the everybody else face fuzz. Hey, thing. Hey, don't blame me. I'm possibly Sicilian. Well, Sicilians are known for their notorious sweat. In whatever island of jury that I come from, I'm sure there's just a bunch of other sweaty, possibly Hispanic people. Or possibly Muslim as well. Or possibly Muslim. Possibly Israeli. The jury's Possibly out. Arab. The jury is... <laughs> Pirates, like the captain. Oh, trying to shoot not only What do you gun. know? Another death for Ashley. Well, that's a great shot there. The last shot I saw like that was John Wilkes Booth. Just kidding. He actually did something. LOL, Lincoln's dead. <laughs> Funny joke from the captain. <laughs> this season on HBO. <laughs> yeah. Lincoln's dead, LOL. <laughs> LOL, Lincoln. Hello, Link. <laughs> Although, by the way, how Starring awesome. Starring that guy from Master of None. Uh, 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 real talk, how amazing would a game, a, a vibe game, be where you're actually two raiding pirate ships and it's multiplayer team and you're like either manning a cannon or like trying to swing over to the other ship. Like, Ooh. Like, like really basically a, a, a limited space capture the flag you know kind what of I, game. You know what I feel like Like you could do really well with virtual reality is uh, it's like a Harry Potter wizard fight. Yeah. Because, I mean... You can track the thing so well. You can track the thing so well. Another thing is the, the, t the most difficult part is motion. Uh, is actually moving around. So you only have a limited space... With, with which to walk, but the teleportation yeah. that they use, like the disapparating, the, the like that yeah. would be that would be the freaking hotness right there. I'm fairly certain that I would lose uh, lose my girlfriend to the virtual realm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By she the way, would, uh, John's not. John's girlfriend Jess is here, and like. As soon as John mentioned for, uh, uh, Harry Potter in virtual reality, like her face just went game time immediately. <laughs> it's like I must learn this system for when <laughs> that becomes a thing. Of course, uh, of course, what we'd be looking at here is not so much like Death Eater wizard fights, but like attending potions. There actually is another game that is literally just like mixing up potions and like throwing things. But it's like, it, it's, it's basically a demo. It's not really a game. Wingardium Leviosa, the game. 10 seconds. I literally just need somebody to give me a bunch of money to make a VR. I'll take that too. Or rather, I'll take some of that money and be your developer. <laughs> You know what else this would lend itself to well? What? Pokemon. Oh, no. No, listen. You have no idea how much I want a just a straight-out Final Fantasy RPG. Here, exit. Oh, there we go. All right. I am going to dive into the hotbox. You, you want to get into Space Pirate? Yeah, Jess, what do you want to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play Space Pirate. All right. The third video game she has ever played... Fourth, that's right. In the meantime,
All right, here we are. So Infamous X says, fuck Final Fantasy, give me Elder Scrolls or uh, Call of Duty or whatever. Like, listen, man, like, ah. like all that, right? But, like, yeah. this world is so immersive that if I could actually just campaign in a very turn-based thing where maybe, like, the spells or the attacks are judged by my actual movements, man, I would love that. Mm. That would be so dope. Uh, yes, 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 you should use two guns. Ooh, and there's a hit. Ooh, and there's a hit as well. Game over. Let's get let's give it one more go on there. Hey, you know what's way easier? Streaming VR while I'm not the only person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> the last two times I've streamed VR is literally just me, like, trying one thing and then stepping out into the, the green screen and then, like, looking down in the desktop, like, squinting, like, uh-huh. How does it look? Does it look good? Does it look good? Am I blown out? <laughs> oh, the game audio is very low. We can turn up. No, this is a great time. Oh, yeah. All right. One more go. You did great. Oh. Um, shoot the continue. Oh, no. You probably hit the menu. Just hit the uh, the button below uh, the the scroll pad. I tell you what, just, just that um that archery simulator that is in the lab, pretty good. Yeah. Here, there's oh. another one. There's a, a another the the dungeon crawler game. Uh, I can show you. It's pretty good. I can speed run budget cuts at this point. Oh my, they're just bumping into each other. All two of them. This game a simple uh, wave-based defense game. Just shoot the little drone things and don't get shot by them. Mitsula says she doesn't grasp grasp the concept of two guns. I think she does. She just likes a shield better. John now stepping in. I can say confidently, this is the sexiest that VR has ever been. We're all having a great sexy time drinking and playing VR, and you should all feel like we're having a great time together, because I feel like we are. We're basically sharing all of our germs in the squishy pad between the VR headset and our faces, full of sweat and grossness. The good news is, we're all gonna get AIDS. Sharing is caring, folks. Sharing is caring. No. See what I'm talking about? Uh, Gentleman Tabet says, Jury, VR point and click adventure games like Myst. Uh, uh, you'd like, all right, so we'll, we'll play a little budget cuts because that is effectively what we're looking at.
John just ate that one John in the mouth. John is dead. Look at old dead ass John being dead as fuck. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch old witch. Old witch, witch? John teased it. John teased it. <laughs> witch old witch, you guessed it. John teased it. It's my Norm Macdonald joke. A lot of Norm Macdonald jokes when we're seriously casting VR esports. Uh, this game seems like it would be a lot easier with a surround sound headset. Uh, yes and no. I mean, like, yeah, you'd probably be better having that, but, like, you get a fairly good surround sound situation. John bracing himself for wave five. Oh, gets shot. And now has a hole in his jaw. Does the headset have headphones? Yes, it does have Headphone a plug jack. in for headphones. Uh, but we have doubled that monitor, or sorry, doubled that microphone basically so we can uh, we can stream better. Like Neo in the Matrix. Except, Except for he's, he's laying he's on the floor. He's gonna die, unlike Neo. Uh, I wish I could justify the price of VR. Uh, listen, man, if it wasn't literally our job, we would not be justifying the price of VR. Uh, what's Jury's high score? My high score is like 7,000 something. This uh, is Schwood's right. high score is 13. That would have been when a shield would right. come in handy. I'm gonna play. Not in your hands. All right, uh, Jury is about to take the stage as a John Teasdale takes off the sweaty ass headset. All right, so uh, join me again in the studio. John Teasdale, how are you feeling after that failure of a round? I actually felt, feel pretty good about it. Yeah? Oh yeah. Uh, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of little flying ball things. There are a lot less. So Schwood has a 1,300 score and Jury a lowly 700 I tell you what, even, even after two other people wearing it, that was still a very moist face pad. I really have to give my girlfriend a lot of thanks for taking the heat of it. All right. So that means Jury is twice as good as John and Brian is twice as good as Jury, says infamous Nexus from the chat. That no, you correct. don't you can't bring math into things like these. Virtual reality is not quite at that stage yet. She just says I love how nobody wipes that thing down with that's when you're family. Uh, that is true. Jury dodging bullets. Will he be the next person in this room to unplug the headset? Wave number six. That means uh, definitely not as sexy as John. Who said that? Ashley, was that you? <laughs> Ashley. Oh, John Teasdale. Jury dodging, not reaching for the shield yet. Up to wave number eight. Or B. Um, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. And this game is why uh, nobody will believe Justin as the reason is why he was on his knees. Justin just takes it all at once. He does. 
Them bruises don't lie. Tonda says, welcome to Howie Mandel's nightmare. So, John, as a uh, Space Pirate pro, what tips do you have for Justin as he goes into the next round? Uh, well, for Justin, I would say use a lot more of the uh, big useless guns. They're flashier, they look better on the internet, and they let me play faster. Great, uh, great advice from John Teasdale. It does appear that the life of a space pirate is very action-packed. Just constantly shooting little balls out of the air. You know, with a seeming, seemingly no end goal. Where's, I mean, the, where's our space pirate treasure? I would say it is a very apt metaphor for the life of a space pirate. Mm. Really, deep. you have to love shooting balls. Story of my life. Back to you, John. Well, that story is certainly still being written. All right, Justin, approaching his old total on wave eight. Ooh, this does not look good and for our hero. Our hero is dead once more. He's going for one more round. Maybe this time he'll use a shield earlier in the game. While he claims shields are for assholes, some assholes stay alive longer than other assholes that use protection. Well, oh, 50 points. There is no memory. There is only the present. <laughs> I will uh, say this for Justin. He does not need a shield until he absolutely needs several of them. He tends You're to die all at once. Eureka Geek asks, so there's a space version of Captain Morgan. Oh, and he's dead. And apparently the headset is down again. Something, something get unplugged? Well, there goes Space Pirate Trainer. Is it gray? Then put it on. Is this gray? I mean, I can close out the game if you want. Do you want me to shut it down? The old blue screen of death, VR style. Uh, you can walk around in it and smell it and touch it, and it smells and tastes and feels blue. That's we just are science. rebooting the headset once more. And Jury is dancing like a fool. All right, Internet, this is John Teasdale signing off because it is late and I will turn into a pumpkin <laughs> at midnight. Uh, well, should we go ahead and shut it down? Yeah, I might as well. All right, well, Jury, any last words as a failed space pirate <laughs> that you would like to share with your loving fans? Today, I consider myself the spaciest pirate around. I want to thank everybody that joined us for this VR party. I want to thank, uh, I want to thank Ashley. I want to thank Jess. I want to thank John. I want to remind everybody on Twitter uh, to uh, say a uh, 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 three seven uh, three three. Uh, I want to uh, remind everybody that uh, uh, if you're on Twitter. Then uh, uh, say uh, to Amtrekker, A-M-T-R-E-K-K-E-R, that he's an asshole. Um, uh, but most of all, I, I really want to, uh, to, to uh, let everybody know this one thing that... Oh, come on, you guys. Come on. Give me 20 bucks. Oh, come on. I'll give you an abortion. Oh, I love cocaine. Oh, come on. oh, you guys. I'm selling it to kids. You guys. I charge 50 for an ounce. Fuck you, you guys. And my dad used to fuck me, rippity-dee. My name's Snake. I'm from a rival gang, so give me the drugs.
go bang, I'm a real rough bloke. I'll murder your wife, so give me the drugs or you'll be in strife. Oh no, he's got the drop on me, but lucky I got a trick up my sleeve. Bang! Biggity bang, a bigger bang bang, biggity, biggity bang, and a shoot, 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 put a bullet in your head. Bing, bam, boom, and he's effing. Right there, I'm a crooked cop. Give me a bribe or your drugs will stop. If you... Oh, you gangsters are such big roughies. I'm gonna put you in handcuffies. Oh, no! It's the boys in blue. What the hell am I gonna do? Bang! Biggity bang, a biggity bang, bang, biggity, biggity bang, and a shoot, 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 put a bullet in your head. Bing, bam, boom, and he's effing dead. Well, hello there. I'm just a passer 